this month in Red Dead Online, we have some triple gold opportunities, some quadruple cash opportunities, as well as some free items and the opportunity to nab yourself to the noob outfit or the Tasman outfit by completing a small little challenge. Plus a few more bits and bobs that we're going to get through in this video. So if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit the sub button and leave a like as that does help me out. The general theme of this month would be horses and races and you can earn quadruple cash by just competing in the standard horse races. There's also a triple gold by competing in the open races. Triple gold events are rare, so definitely take advantage of it if you like racing. There's also five times XP in when competing with target races. This is a new way that they've mixed up the division of XP, gold and uh, cash through different types of races. And I would imagine most people will be aiming for that triple gold as gold is the hardest thing to make in the game. There is double cash and XP on select blood money contracts. These are the Jeb Phelps contract, the Blue Water contract, and the uh, railroad contract also. There is also double cash and XP on all free roam missions. These are the missions that you can undertake in free roam. They're the little orange map icons that you find. We have some limited time clothing items returning to the game. First you have the Dillahy hat which comes in eight different variants and will run you four gold bars. We also are getting the Carver pants which comes in 10 different variants and it will run you around the $57 mark. For female players, you can get yourself the Clemony coat that comes in 10 different variants and it will retail at $153 for each variant. The free community outfit this month was created by Happy Krimis over at r slash red dead fashion. And to start this outfit, you just need to grab yourself the black gambler's hat, which you can get for both male and female characters for this outfit. Then you want to grab for males the Heartman jacket. Just grab this black version that you can see right here on the screen. For female characters, you will be getting the Clemony coat, which is a limited time returning item. For males, you want to get the everyday shirt in white. You should be able to find it just here. And for female characters, you'll be grabbing the white casual shirt waist for this outfit. For the pants, we will be grabbing the white bandito pants for both male and female characters. And for the shoes, you can grab yourself a pair of black worn rubber boots for both male and female characters. You can also head over to the gunsmith and get a free woven pistol gun belt as well as the gun holster to go and match with it. For bounty hunter license holders you'll get a free variant of the wacky knee uh, roll outfit. Possible to make some match uh, the tops and bottoms of roll outfits and if you'd like to see more about that I will leave a link up here as well as in the description. As we're on the topic of outfits, it is also possible to unlock yourself either the Danube or the Tasman outfit this month, depending on which character you have, either male or female. All you have to do is place top three in any six races in a single week, and you will earn one of these outfits. It could take up to 72 hours to receive your outfit, or sometimes it might actually take until the end of the week before it's added to your wardrobe. Discounts wise this month, you have 40% off all pants and skirts in the Catalog. If you're looking to add a few more emotes to your arsenal, you'll also get 30% off all emotes. This includes roll emotes as well if you have unlocked any of the rolls. The reinforced lasso is also getting 50% off this entire month. Definitely a must get if you don't have it for bounty. There's also 30% off uh, pistols this month in Red Dead Online. There's often debate on which is better, the semi-automatic or the Mauser pistol. And if you're interested in my thoughts on that, I did knock up a comparison video a while back. If you would like to see my thoughts and some testing on that. Link up here and in the description if you're interested. As I mentioned at the start, it's a bit of a horse team this month and there is a discount on both race and war horses over the stables where you get 30% off. You'll also find 50% off all horse food, stable slots and stirrups in case you're needing any of those this month. There's also an added little gift from Rockstar where each player should receive 10 classic oat cakes, 10 horse meals and 10 apples just to keep their horse happy. Also, participating in a nominated series every month before June 6th will reward you with 10 Capitali plus purchasing any weapon modification will result in a bonus of 5 special horse stimulant. Just like the preceding months in this year, each week of the month will have a different um, 
highlighted game in the feature series as well as some specific discounts or items you can acquire so from may 3rd to may 9th uh, the feature series is the race series and you can get 40 percent off a bounty hunter novice or promising role item by just completing any bounty hunter mission also completing a one horse deal will get you a 50 percent off fast travel post for your camp moving into may 10th to may 16th the open target races and overrun races will be the feature series that week also, collectors who will reach rank 10 or above will receive an offer of 40% off a collector novice or promising role item. And if you win two rounds of the feature series, you will receive a bonus of $100. From May 17th to May 23rd, the races and shootouts is the feature series. If you complete 10 daily challenges this week, you will receive a Yeehaw emote. Also, complete two trader cell missions and you will receive a Citadel Rock treasure map. From May 24th to May 30th, the so select races will be kind of mixed into the feature series. And if you play with your persistent posse, you will receive the respectful bow emote. Probably one of my most used emotes that I personally use. Destroying three revenue agent Roblox will get you a free select colorway of a Levin's gun belt. And that will bring us into the final week of the event, which will run from May 31st to June 6th where you'll have target races and capture mode being the featured mode series. And anyone who can place top three in any race that week will receive a select colorway of the Vaquero Baroque Spurs. If you purchase any pamphlet that week also, you will receive a bonus of 150 cash, which is essentially 150 cash kind of off a pamphlet, I guess. It's also worth noting that some people out there might have some benefits or coupons that will be expiring at the end of May, so you may want to use them now or at least have a look to see if you have some. I myself had a look and I had two treasure maps that were kind of uh, backlogged, so I have to clear out and do a few treasure maps and free them up so I can do them. So definitely worth checking them out and avail of anything that you want before May 31st. Personally, I'm not a huge horse racing person for Red Dead Online, but I will be jumping on to try out some of the open target races again. They were probably the better of the races added, so the triple gold that is added to them this month is definitely worth checking out and trying out, especially if you're on for making a lot of gold this month month that's just my thoughts what are your thoughts let me know below in the comments what do you think of this month are you a horse racing fan if so what type of races are you liking really like to hear and read all your comments so definitely do post them down below if you're a fan of red Dead online and you want to keep up to date and see some of the stuff that i will have coming out soon which are like in-depth guides and things like this why not consider subbing up it does help me with the channel and make sure that you will get the videos as soon as i post them for everyone that does support the channel leaving a like comment and actually just watching the videos i really do appreciate it it does help the channel out a lot and as always massive thanks to the members you guys are incredible and this channel wouldn't be here without you so massive thanks to you all right people hope all's well with you and i'll catch you all in the next video take it easy